Your Excellency, today we pay a tribute to the Iron Lady, to your dear sister Cecilia, and in the house when we pay tribute, all the people who spoke spoke very good about the late Cecilia as one of the mentors, as somebody who is a nationalistic, as somebody who was a mother to everybody and believed in Uganda, much as she was from FDC, but she was a member of parliament of Uganda because she put Uganda first than any other party. Now, I didn't know her until after 1980. I didn't know her personally, although some of my colleagues who were in Nairobi University must have known her, the ones who died in our wars. Don't miss opportunities to work together if you can work together. Because you may find now regretting, oh, I wish I had worked with this person more closely. But you had the opportunity, but you, you didn't use it. But in the case of Shise and myself, it was not really her fault. It was the bad atmosphere created by, by, by other people. Now, of course, what I've now discovered, I didn't know. Me, I didn't know that she had the time to, to have a big family. But apparently, she was very active publicly, but also privately. <laughs> this talkative system of mine has built a factor, a big factory here. Now, now the children and the husband were telling me more about it. But you can see that she was in everything. She had told me about her farm in uh, Chiliandongo. She had told me about it. Uh, so therefore, on the one hand, we, salute, we, we, we celebrate her achievements, her contribution. Because when you hear that the North is peaceful now and development is taking place, Tarmac roads from Oruyo all the way to the Sudan border through Kitugum. It is because the north is peaceful, the, even the road from uh, Karuma to Papach. It is because the north is peaceful. And people who played a role in pacifying that place, apart from the army, are people like Sisa of War. Ministers, the family of the late Sicilia. Barbara Atimo Gual, the members of parliament that are here, the staff of parliament and fourth estate who want to welcome you all to this vigil. You are most welcome. Your Excellency, we want to welcome you to the parliament of Uganda, though you are coming at a time when the members, your members, are mourning your sister, Cecilia Ogwala. We want to thank you so, so much for finding time to come over. Amidst all that you've been going through, we appreciate you had NAM, you also had G77, and you had to create time to come over and celebrate with us the life of your sister in Mark Cecilia Gual and we, we are highly indebted to you. Your Excellency, much as we are mourning, but we also want to take this opportunity to thank you and congratulate you upon becoming the chairman of NAM and G77. It means a lot for our dear country. Congratulations, Jose. Your Excellency, today we paid a tribute to the Iron Lady, to your dear sister Cecilia, and in the house when we pay tribute, all the people who spoke spoke 
very good about the late Cecilia as one of the mentors, as somebody who is a nationalistic, as somebody who was a mother to everybody and believed in Uganda, much as she was from FDC, but she was a member of parliament of Uganda because she put Uganda first than any other party. And she spoke, before her passing on, she spoke found of you as her brother. Whenever there was an issue in the house, the only uniting factor we had was in Mat Cecilia Okwal. We thank God for her life. In the motion that was presented by the Right Honorable Prime Minister in the House, we had amendments in that motion on what the House wanted. And I can report to the members of Parliament that the prayers that were mentioned, the amendments that were put in the motion have been handled by the President. Your Excellency, when Imach fell sick, I told you that your sister is down. And you really felt so sad about it. And still when she passed on, I gave you a call and said, your sister is no more. I realized how you felt. Our condolence to you, Your Excellency. And Mama. She has always referred Mama uh, as her sister-in-law. Mama, congo our condolence to you for the loss of your sister-in-law. We want to thank you for according your sister a special one tribute, laying in state and giving a gun salute. That means a lot for the people of Lamo, for the people of Uganda, especially on a lady who has really worked for this country. It means a lot. Your Excellency, we are all here seated, just waiting to hear from you. I now take this single opportunity, uh, honor to invite you to address the monarchs. And this will even be played in Lango. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the right honorable speaker of parliament, uh, his lordship, the chief justice, the right honorable prime minister. All the members of parliament and staff, the family of the late Cecilia Ogwa, and all people who are listening. I think I have got a good, good testimony on the contribution of Cecilia Ogwa. But, but I must first of all feel uh, sad because of the of politics of fragmentation. It did not work. Although we have seen the politics. She was approaching my age because she was born 1946. Uh, I was born 1954. And when she was in the University of Zaha, I had not met her. I think we were about the same time in the university. Now, I didn't know her until after 1980. I didn't know her personally, although some of my colleagues who were in Nairobi University must have known her, the ones who died in our wars.
ρέταρον φλονάσα ένα 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 ρεμ and the way some people emphasize the differences we couldn't work together closely but I can tell you so therefore you people take this as a, loss, a, a, a lesson don't miss opportunities to work together if you can work together uh, because you may find now regretting oh I wish I had worked with this person more closely but you had the opportunity but you, you didn't use it but in the case of Shise and myself it was not really her fault it was the bad atmosphere created by 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 other people I had been in the DP from 1960 to September 1970 I was very happy to meet Mr. Ogwal because when I asked him, I think he's the one supervise our elections in 70 when I had joined UPC for only five months because I joined UPC and the government collapsed in January and then when I tried to work with UPC but they wouldn't allow us to, to work they, they, you get people who like to divide people Uh, people who, who is Museven, Museven is nobody, no, even if he is nobody, he, he just, why do you know the nobody would help you? So, we couldn't work together with, 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 with you PC, because of really being very careful you people. Yeah. So eventually we are now to create separate forces, but even fighting among uh, between ourselves because remember we spent 80 years fighting Idi Amin now why would anybody have wanted to, to, to divide us after that you, you, can't, you can't follow the, the, the logic what we had gone through was enough to, to caution us that no, 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 be careful you listen to one another not possible So because of that, I, I, I have not worked optimally with Sisi Ogwar. But I can tell you, when I eventually met her, I could see that she's a patriot. How did I know that? One day, We were monitoring the rebels, listening to what they were talking. And this character called Vincent T. Of course, he, he, he didn't know that we were recording what, what he was saying. Visit to TC, you try to, you, you Langi, you are like us with the Achoris, we should fight these bad people. Then, uh, then Sisu Gwar said, no, oh. but what, I, what I, I, I didn't like, and I told her, she was calling the visit to TC, Radit. I said, Radit, this is not. This is Runeko, not Radit. So, so later on I told her, I said, you know, we are recording your speech, your talk with this, with the, with the visit of tea. But you made a good stand to tell him that rebellion is not good because, because he, uh, uh, visit of tea was abusing her, threatening her. 
But she stood up, Rabbi, let me record it. But what I didn't, I, I, I came and I teased that I said, you, you did very well, but Ladit, I don't like Ladit. You should have told the teacher that he's a, he's a criminal. No, you can, you can hear. That, that stand, nobody was there. It was herself and OT. There were only two people on the, on the telephone. Because OT or something like that. But she was able to. Then, when she was elected to, no, before that, the UPC don't know that sometimes we monitor what, what they are doing. And now, before I went for the CA, I think some people in UPC were telling their followers that they should boycott, they should boycott the, the processes of, that were going on in the country. So should not participate in the CA. But I, I don't know whether you people know this. Sisho Ogwar led a group which, 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 which said no. You people, you are far away, you don't know what is happening. You know this? Sisho Ogwar was able to say, and others were able to say no. What you are advising is wrong. Country is moving. But whether you come or not, the country is moving, and our people cannot cannot stay out. We must we must participate. I don't know whether people people who know that know that difference. Do people know that? Do people know it? Uh, that since a while, I don't know. Maybe. of UPC well, this is Assistant Secretary General uh, so the, the line they were pushing was Okuzira Okuzira in rural or how do we call it Okuzira to, to, to how do we say it in rural Excellency there are many words Con, gem, cuero, you can choose any. Gem is bantu, that is realized the bantu, gem is okujema. Okujema is to be bare. Absolutely. That's a bantu. <laughs> so the other one the two words are uh -huh. So some of the people in UPC wanted us, wanted the UPC to quero <laughs> to quero the internal processes that were going on in Uganda. And Siso Gwai, for sure, led the group which said, Was she expelled from UPC or what? What happened? This girl in FDC, the girl in FDC was because, I, I think, because of those skirmishes within the party. So you can see there, she played. The second, second time when I, I noticed that she played an independent, positive role. Saying, you know, we may not use the MRM, but the people of Lango must participate. And, and, and
Tiyatro. Elektri. The third one, when, when she was elected to, if you went there, to the African Parliament in South Africa, you wouldn't know that she was not NRM. Outside there, she was a big, she was a big defender of Uganda. You wouldn't know that she was not NRM, no? Uh, that was that, that one I also saw because I went there to address that Pan African Parliament, and she was she was there and she was actually like the leader of the Ugandan group, and she was uh, very patriotic. You can quote very many. Uh, recently, we had a meeting at Baregi. I had a meeting there. I had one, I think, to talk about the Karamajong problems. Then the MPs came and she was among them. And we discussed some issues to do with the constituencies, with the uh, PDM and all that. And afterwards, she was very, very anxious that we have a follow-up meeting. Following up the one of Bajeki, which unfortunately we didn't have time to, 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 to have. So, Sisor Gwar was like me. Because when our brothers of UPC, Okchanga, I can we used to say, Okchanga too. To manipulate. Twatera Kanuru, Shahem, when they extract Kuzaika, Mukago, but they are coming to Waruka. That is UPC. They, they, were, they were bragging how, how how we voted at seven, but by two, a voter had already defeated. <laughs> how can you defeat? <laughs> how can you defeat somebody at two when the elections are not yet over? But that's what they were singing, the UPC. But, uh, Day. But by midday, a better had won. When the UPC played their, their games, with Kamakayaka, Kamakayaka was also wonderful. And I was with uh, my people there. Muzei Vyanyima, he was our leader. Now, PC group was saying, but UPC is a shuma. UPC is a cheat. We should have nothing to do with them. I said to Muzei, this cheated us. In 67, if we quarrel, is it quarrel? Because it seems like we We should quarrel. Uh, like the ones who are telling Siso. But if we were five years for our people to just sit there, nothing is being done. I said no. UPC have taken government posts, but they have not taken agriculture. Agriculture with this uh, 
We, we continue, but we can also grow up for fight and fear. So, so I did. I was like, I was an alias, the city of war, vis-a-vis the group of of DP who are of the line. And you can see in Lango, if you go there, it has been done. Uh, because of, of not quero. If you go to Lango now, when, when you are flying over, you will see Sarati. To imitate the. But, but that time we shall sort out. So, so therefore, Sisu Gwar was really a very good leader, and her and her contribution was suppressed by the bad atmosphere created by that politics of of. In Uganda, they will say of chai, of chai, of chai. How do you say it in law? Where you create a, like a trade and bigotry, how do you say it in law? Your Excellency, again, law is very rich. That is either a money or a dagger. Yeah. So the politics of a dagger. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, b because really now we are getting closer and closer together, even with UPC, with Akena, with the, the UPC, there is my daughter wanted wanted to send me out of parliament, of parliament. The girl from Oyam, who is she? I am Oyam. Ah, there. When I came to parliament, I don't know what I had come to do. She wanted to throw me out. I said, oh, I'm the one who liberated this parliament. How would you throw me out? <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember what I had come to do in parliament, <laughs> but now. That politics of Adage is getting isolated, and I want to thank all the cadre, all the leaders who are involved in isolating the Adage people. <laughs> Sisso Gwar was was very much in that process of rejecting Adage. Akena, better better Mongi. They, they have rejected that. Even my Kagan who wanted to throw me out, I think we, we are in good terms now. Mao DP has rejected that politics of, of Adage. So, I think the Adageists, the Adageists are I remember the few, and we know who they are. <laughs> Everybody knows them. You can imagine the Now, 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 is not from seven. They are not looking after my car. What are they doing for me? Did they go to look after my car? To, to publicize your, your country, to, 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 so that he, so that your country is, 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 is understood better and you feel this is bad. This is what I didn't agree with with the, with the other groups of, of mine. So therefore, Sisa Ogwa was against the politics of Adage, was against, Oque, is it Okoro? Uh -huh. And was for Dong Robo. We sell Dong Robo for development.
because in those committees of parliament of yours, those committees, there are some, some issues. You, I, I, I was here. I, I don't say, uh, I have not arrested anybody, but I, I, I keep hearing, oh, there is something here, there is something there. But when Sister Ogwara was in those committees of what? She was in the commission? Was it parliamentary commission? Yes, you never had anything, to, a, a, any, any doubt with, with her. I don't think that I am, I am exaggerating you because you know when somebody dies, people 